Here, we'll show you how to calculate the pH and the percent ionization of a weak acid with a given concentration and a known Ka value. For the A part of this question, we're asked to find the pH of a 0.25 molar solution of ethanoic acid, CH3COOH. The B part of this question asks us to find the percent ionization of the acid. We'll start with the A part. We're asked to find the pH of a 0.25 molar solution of ethanoic acid. Whenever we're asked to do a calculation with an acid, the first thing we always have to do is identify the acid as strong or weak. We see by its position on the acid table that ethanoic acid is a weak acid. When we're doing calculations involving weak acids, we must use an ice table. We set up an ice table like this. We start by writing the equilibrium equation for ionization of ethanoic acid here. Next, we draw borders in so that the columns line up nicely with the substances in the equation. Water is a liquid in the equilibrium equation, so we can ignore the column below water. We'll color it blue here. We'll start out with the initial concentration rho. The initial concentration of the ethanoic acid is 0.25 molar, so we'll add 0.25 to this cell. No H3O plus or CH3COO minus were added so we can consider their concentrations to be zero before ionization. Now we'll look at the changes in concentration as ionization occurs. Because there were no products initially, the equilibrium will shift to the right during the ionization. As the shift to the right occurs, the concentrations of hydronium and ethanoate ions will both increase, so we'll write plus signs here. And the concentration of CH3COOH will decrease, so we'll write a minus sign here. We're not given any equilibrium concentrations, we don't know how much these will increase. So we'll write plus x for both of them, as they both have a coefficient of 1 in the equilibrium equation. Because the coefficient on CH3COOH is also 1, we can state that it will go down by x, so we'll write minus x here. Now we'll look at the concentrations of everything at equilibrium. The hydronium and ethanoate ions will both be zero, plus x, which is equal to x. The concentration of CH3COOH started out as 0.25 and went down by x, so its equilibrium concentration will be 0.25 minus x. The question now is, how do we find x? We start solving for x by writing the Ka expression for ethanoic acid. Using the equilibrium equation, we see that the Ka expression is equal to the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of ethanoate over the concentration of ethanoic acid. The equilibrium concentrations of hydronium and ethanoate are both equal to x. So for their product in the Ka expression, we can substitute x times x, or x squared. The concentration of ethanoic acid at equilibrium is 0.25 minus x. So we'll substitute 0.25 minus x in for the concentration of CH3COOH. The degree of ionization for ethanoic acid is very low, so we make the assumption that x is insignificant compared to 0.25. This can be written as 0.25 minus x is almost equal to 0.25. We can check this assumption later when we determine the percent ionization. In general, the assumption is valid if the percent ionization is 5% or less. Using this assumption will help us avoid having to use a quadratic equation. In Chemistry 12, this assumption is generally used here. When you use it, you must always state it. So taking out the x on the bottom, we can state that Ka is approximately equal to x squared over 0.25. Rearranging this equation to solve for x squared gives us x squared is equal to 0.25 times the Ka. Taking the square root of both sides gives us x is equal to the square root of 0.25 times the Ka. At this point, we will remind ourselves that x is equal to the equilibrium concentration of hydronium. Looking on the acid table, we see that the Ka for ethanoic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So we substitute that in for the Ka in the equation. 0.25 times 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth 
is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6. So we'll substitute that in here under the square root sign. The square root of 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6 is 2.12 times 10 to the negative 3. Because we now have a value for the concentration of hydronium, we'll include the unit molarity. Both the value of Ka and the given concentration have two significant figures, which limits our final answer to two significant figures. We've written the concentration of hydronium with three significant figures here. We'll use this and round to two significant figures at the end. We're asked for the pH. The pH is a negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, which is the negative log of 2.12 times 10 to the negative 3. And that comes out to 2.67366. But we round this to 2.67 in order to give us two decimal places in this pH value, or two significant figures in our final answer. So now we have the final answer for part A. The pH of 0.25 molar ethanoic acid is equal to 2.67. Part B of this question asks us to find the percent ionization of 0.25 molar ethanoic acid. At one point in our calculations, we had determined that the hydronium ion concentration in the solution is 2.12 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. We can use this to help us find the percent ionization. We'll make a note of it up here. The formula for percent ionization is the hydronium ion concentration divided by the initial concentration of the acid times 100%. We'll substitute 2.12 times 10 to the negative 3 molar in for the concentration of hydronium, and 0.25 molar in for the concentration of ethanoic acid. We can cancel the unit molarity, and we multiply by 100%, and we get 0.85%. So now we've answered question B. The percent ionization of 0.25 molar ethanoic acid is 0.85%. Notice it's quite small, less than 1% of the ethanoic acid molecules have ionized. Remember during the calculations for pH, we assumed that X was insignificant compared to 0.25 molar. We said this was valid if the percent ionization is 5% or less. We have just determined that the percent ionization is 0.85%, which is much less than 5%. So this verifies our assumption was definitely valid. Thank you.